Welcome. This is the Jenkins Governance Board meeting. It's the 19th of February, 2024. Topics, we'll discuss upcoming calendar. We've got news items to cover, some action items, community activity, and governance topics. And then that should conclude for us. Any items that you'd like to be sure we add to the agenda that I might have missed? Okay, then let's take a look at, let's see. First, let's be sure I get this correct. Kevin's not here today. Okay, so upcoming calendar, first topic. Uh, our next week, weekly re release is scheduled for tomorrow, 2.446. Thanks, Alexander, for a number of positive merges coming into that one. And Alexander, thanks doubly for the upcoming LTS release on Wednesday. So two days from now, and we've got a bunch of cool things coming into that release. Thanks very much. Uh, Alex, anything you want to share on that topic? No, nothing in particular. The release will take uh, the, re the release will take place as planned. No security release as planned, so no delay. Great. Thank you. All right. In terms of next major events, we've got the Southern California Linux Expo in March that Alyssa Tong, Basil Crow, and I will attend. And then I'll be at CDCon in April in Seattle, Washington. Any other major events that I should be putting on the list here? Okay, next topic then, news. So pleased to announce that Ampere Computing has lent two servers to the Jenkins Project. These are dual processor, ARM64 servers that they've shipped to us. They've arrived now and we'll use them to reduce our infrastructure costs. Uh, thanks to Bruno for arranging the, the loan to the Jenkins project. And thanks to Aaron Williams of Ampere for making the loan happen. They'll be hosted at my, at my house. I'll donate the electricity and the networking and the physical administration if needed. And we'll likely ask CloudBees to donate disk drives and any other components that might be needed. We're really pleased with with this. We look for we've we've had good success with ARM sixty four since we started using it in twenty twenty one when Oracle be, began donating to us. And Jenkins Infrastructure is continuing their transition to ARM sixty four servers through a whole series of of help desk tickets. So we, we like what we see with ARM64. It's lower cost, good performance, et cetera. Any questions on the news items? Okay, next topic then, action items. So attribution entries for the downloads page. Basel will take a look at that once he gets back from his vacation time. He's enjoyed two weeks in Europe. And uh, thanks to everyone for Contributor Summit. It was a great experience. Kevin Martin's work on retiring the Chinese Jenkins site. We we had a ping just a day or two ago from a Chinese contributor saying, hey, I'd like to make this minor change. They were a little dismayed when I told them that, hey, your minor change is not long, will not be long lived because we intend to shut down the uh, the site. And that's still holding. We don't have enough Chinese contributors to documentation localization to justify keeping it open. Alex, you want to give us the background on Stefan Speaker as joining a core PR team? Oh, for sure. Um, yesterday, I reached out to Stefan, asking him whether he would be interested or not. And he was said, yes, he would be interested in that. Um, he is already reviewing core PRs, and he has contributed like almost 300 to core directly, ignoring the plugins he maintains still. So yeah, I initiated the discussion on the mailing list. And if I see that correctly, you and Basil did already agree on that. We did. And I think your note that, that the board can vote, we've got one more board member here. Uli, do you, or would you be in favor of or opposed yes, to Stefan? Yes, plus one from me as well. Okay, great. So, so I think that is the answer then. We have, we have a vote and, uh, Four out of five board members have said yes. Great. Any so so Alex, you'll take the next steps in terms of doing the right things to add a new core PR reviewer. Yes, I'll let him know and add him to the appropriate GitHub team. Great.
Thank you. Any other action items that we need to discuss? Okay, next topic then is community activity. So thanks very much to everyone on this call and the many others who attended. We had over 25 people attend the Contributor Summit in Brussels on February 2nd. Great session. Uh, the slides are linked here. Uh, you're welcome to review the slides. They are there. We did not do a video recording, so you'll have to refer to slides. Kevin Martins, however, plans to do a summary blog post. And I'll be bringing changes into a JEP based on the work from one of the sessions that I held. Uh, any observations, Uli, Alex, or, or Bruno, that you'd like to add to the notes here? No. Okay, great. Next topic then is on the Java, Java 2 plus 2 Java support JEP, and it continues. Uh, I've got work to do. Thankfully, I've got good data to provide to that work. Next topic is on governance. And here it's related to Jenkins Awards. Today is the last day for nominations for the Jenkins Awards. These nominations will be, the voting process will happen and they will be announced at CDCon in April. Uh, so we've got three, three, three categories, most valuable advocate, most valuable contributor and security MVP. And we've got nominations in each. So we like that, but we would like more nominations. I plan to submit a number of nominations later today before the, before the, the nomination period closes. Reminder that those who won in 2023 are not eligible for that, for that award in 2024. Any questions there? Okay, all right. The attribution request for downloads from JFrog, this one is in the action items, no further progress to report there. Next topic has good progress to report the Azure expense status. Last, last month, we were a little concerned that our expenses were running hot and they did run hot. Our budgeted amount had originally been 6,500 and we went to 6,800. However, the last week of January showed dramatic cost reductions. And it shows that in February, we're expecting to have costs below 5,000. So we will be in budget easily this year, uh, thanks to the work that Damien, Stefan, and Erve have done to bring costs down on the Azure side. Uh, the impressive thing there was that what they did was change the type of storage account. And that's, that's that most of that savings in that one change. On the AWS credits, we've got we've received the credits. That's great. We haven't yet enabled because we're using the same technique that we used with Azure, which is we create an independent account, and then we start consuming services, resources from that independent account. And that I expect will happen over the course of the next several months. Any questions on either of those? Okay, last topic. I'm going to be out of the office for the 4th of March um, meeting. I need a volunteer to run the meeting. Uh, Alex, I know you've edited the agenda on the in the past. Would you be willing to run the meeting? Do you have access to Zoom? Or if not, Uli, you're also a candidate. Or we could cancel the meeting. Yes, I can help. I'm not sure if I have the Zoom account, but I think. Hmm. Well, and and I know that Bruno has the Zoom account. Yeah, Bruno, would you be available to run the Zoom oh. if necessary, and Uli could yes. run the meeting? Yeah, for sure. Yes. Okay, great, perfect. That covered all the topics that I had. Anything else that we need to discuss in our session today? No. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks again for your time. Much appreciated.